home of the Super Bowl 52 champions, Lincoln Financial Field. Yeah. Oh, you don't got no kicking in for me. Oh, what it is. Oh, what it is. Go with. Go with. Don't worry about it. You ain't gotta talk to me. I'm gonna talk to you. Here's the kicker, Harrison Bunker, ready to get this one started. And off we go from Lincoln Financial Field. We'll see a return here from the end zone. And he'll be brought down shy of the 20, so the decision to bring it out of the end zone, not a good one. To throw at the outset, here's Hurts. And that is intercepted! Or was it? Wait, they'll say no. No interception. He did not keep the feet in bounds, apparently. So that's just going to be an incompletion. I don't care what game it is, everyone's always looking for an early advantage, an early break, and they almost had one there. That should have been an interception. Nice catch. Just couldn't get his feet down in bounds. And offensively lucky to have that one back. He'll get only three there, so it leaves him with a third and seven ahead. Well, that's a good start to this drive on the defensive side of the ball. And force the incompletion on first down. Then you're able to shut down the running play on second. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised now. A little bit of pressure going at the quarterback in the expected passing situation. A tough spot here on their opening drive. This is third and seven. Throwing his hurts. He's got a man complete. And they nearly get this all the way to midfield. Mark him down at the 49. A really good pickup of 28 yards. They'll run with Sanders up the middle. Now that was an excellent run. And when you see that happen, that's when you're seeing guys... Some people doing a little bit more. Offensive linemen and tight ends, they're expected to block. But the wide receivers, all they want to do is catch passes. So when they block on a big-time running play and create extra space, you've got to hit the jackpot there. They still need about the length of the football here, maybe a little less as they come up on second and inches. They'll go again with Sanders. And he'll get it inside the 40 to the 39. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. From the gun, it's Hurts. Left side here to Sanders. And they'll work this down inside the 30. And they're getting him involved early. You feel like they saw something on tape, or they just have a sense with him because he's had a good week of practice or something in that area, that they want him involved, just as you said. They want him to touch it either in the running game or the passing game, but they must like the matchups they're getting. And he will lose yardage here to the 31-yard line. Well, I think the hope is, you know, with a touch pass like that, that maybe you catch the defense off guard, but they were all over that one. And it is the kind of play that works better against certain defenses. And this clearly was the wrong one to run into. Really nice job getting him down behind the line of scrimmage. On second and 12, Hurts. That swung out wide to Sanders. And he'll be out of bounds just inside the 25-yard line. Well, it seems pretty clear on this opening drive that they want to get him involved, not only Charles in the run game, but in the pass game as well. And he can be such a weapon for them when they utilize him this way. And partner, 
You know I'm a veteran, right? In other words, that means a little bit older. <laughs> Back in my day, we used to call a guy like this a workhorse, except he carried the ball all the time. Now they get it to him a variety of ways, but you're right, they want to run their offense through him. A terrific opening drive has them knocking on the door, first and goal. They'll try to run with Sanders. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Philadelphia. A one-yard touchdown run for Miles Sanders. And the Eagles put the Knights' first points on the board as they take the early lead. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Thought you had me too, then. Took me a little second to score, man. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. Get that ball back. Get that ball back. Mahomes will lead the Chiefs up first and 10 at their own 22. They'll try and start this drive in the air. They'll find Juju Smith-Schuster. And yeah, they'll get it all the way up about five yards shy of midfield. The big play to start him out. Has him at the 45 already. Here's Jarek McKinnon, his first carry of the ball game. Give him 10 yards on the pickup, and that'll make it second and a foot or so. They'll bring a receiver in motion left. On second and very short, Mahomes. Man open, that's Marquez Valdez-Scantling. After one, seven nothing on EA Sports. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Straight ahead they go with McKinnon. And he edges forward, but only gets a pair of yards out of it. And it's second down. You've got to be impressed by that defensive front on reps like those. They were not being moved off the line, kept their shoulders square, and gave their teammates time to fight to the ball and limit that game. The last run good for two. Here's second and eight. Mahomes going to throw. Eagle pressure. Too much this time. Down he goes. Josh rushing in. Let's go. Maybe he was hoping for a penalty downfield to give him the yardage they needed. Yards. And the drive keeps going. 
In motion, the tight end, Kelsey. On first down now, run with McKinnon. It's a gain of 11 yards that time, and it produces a new set of downs. We use the word relentless a lot with guys who are aggressive on the field. In this case, it really fits, doesn't it? How about his ability to break tackles and his feet never stop moving. On first down, McKinnon again. Give him four on the carry there at second and goal. Defensively, they must have been expecting a pass. They were in the dive walk out there. I think maybe they were deciding to go with speed on the field rather than... And he'll get in. He's over for the touchdown. Oh, shit. The sneak successful from a yard out. And the Chiefs are within an extra point of tying up this ball game. Extra point by Butker, he's on target, and we are tied at seven. Each team's had it, each team has scored. 7-7 seven, seven here as the kick's away. This will be fielded inside the five. And some good special teams coverage as they bring him down just outside of the 15. Already at the line, this Philly offense set to go. So both of these teams, Charles, coming off touchdowns now, but this offense, they just had to stand on the sideline, watch their opponent offer a really impressive drive to reach the end zone. Yeah, and I think you're not telling yourself the truth if you don't think there's some one-upsmanship going on right now because they just had their touchdown answered by a drive of double-digit plays that also found the end zone. Now they want to do something even more impressive to answer that one. Let's go now. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. Hurt sets up to throw it. Looking left side and he's got a man. That's Sanders. And they'll get him down here at the 23. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. That's a nice design there, but sometimes, though, you get so many blockers out ahead of you, they kind of slow you down and force you to adjust. You always appreciate guys trying to help you, but maybe one less there could have turned this into a bigger game. Looking left side for Watkins, and he's got him. And he is going to have an Eagles first down. They needed three. He doubled that. He got six. On first and ten, it's Hurts. That's caught by the big tight end, Dallas Goddard. And yeah, he will go out right near the 35-yard line. Big yardage after the catch. That one winds up going for 36. So that changes things a bit. Here's a first and ten all the way down at the 35. The man in motion is Brown. They'll throw on first down with Hurts. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. And their back's up against the wall a little bit, and they come through by forcing an incompletion. Now they've got to continue to ratchet up the intensity a couple of more times and get off the field before giving up any more yardage. Here's second and ten now from the 35. Here's Hurts to throw. He's going to go out of bounds, but he takes this one down just shy of the 20. Hurts dangerous when he runs that football, and he's got a first. Give him a little extra credit there. His head was cool as the play broke down. Didn't force a throw, and in the end, got to show off his athleticism with a nice gain to bring up a new set of downs. Now on first down, he'll drop to throw it. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. My first thought is surprise, because that's one of the better tight ends around, and I've seen him pull in balls like this before. But how about a little credit to the defense forcing that incompletion? After the incomplete pass, here now is second and ten. 
Now back to throw. And this time he's got the hookup. It's complete. The Eagles going to take the first of their timeouts as they get it right at the 32nd mark of this first half. Here comes play number nine now as they come up on a third and three. They'll drop to throw. Touchdown, Eagles! Devontae Smith on the receiving end from Jalen Hurts. And the Eagles will take the lead here in the final minute of the first half. Elliott good on the extra point, and that makes the score 14-7. the touchdown. Here's Elliott on to kick it away. They'll elect to bring it out here from the end zone. Oh, a good return up past the 30. Past midfield. He's at the 30. 10, 5, and he will score. Touchdown, Chiefs. Well, he made the right choice by result but a little bit surprising because now with touchbacks coming back to the 25 instead of the 20, when guys fielded that deep in the end zone, I think most coaches want them to take a knee. Yeah, it's resulted in more kneel downs. Not right there. Butker on for the PAT. Now we've got a good one, bro, and we're all knotted up at 14. This one tied at 14 now as he sends this one away. Fielded just outside the goal line. And they'll get him down inside the 30 at the 27. offense set to begin their next drive and with eight seconds on the clock really not a lot of time to try to put anything together and they'll indeed start on the ground to run that clock and defensively they're just looking to keep him contained as they're able to get him down now whistles and a timeout with three seconds left in the first half and you see the clock almost empty so this is likely the last play in the second quarter Throwing from the gun, it's Hurts. Going deep here for Watkins. And that going to be incomplete. Good effort there, trying to take a shot, but it's third down. That's it for the first half. Two more quarters to go. We'll have plenty more to see after the break. Welcome back. Halftime over. We are ready for quarter number three. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. And ready to get the party started for the second half. It was an even first half, all tied on the scoreboard. Fields it right around the goal line. And they'll start this drive just across the 30. Pretty nice work on the return. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. This offense ready for the first drive of the third quarter. Well, quarters number one and two entertaining. We saw some good offense points put up, Charles, and all tied on the scoreboard. And it sets us up for what could be a really fun second half because we've seen both sides score almost at will here in the first half. There he goes, left side. And all the way in for a Kansas City touchdown. 
But I guess when you look back on it, it was just a matter of time until he popped a big one like that. And, you know, at halftime, you and I discussed it. They had done a nice job on him in the first half. But there were a couple of occasions where it felt like he might wiggle out of traffic and take it to the house. Finally here in the second half, that got done. Butker now to add the extra point. It's up and good, and that'll make the score 21-14. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. And this is going to be returned from the middle of the end zone. And he'll be out of bounds across the 25. Already at the line, this Philly offense set to go. Well, Charles, you and I said in intermission, feels like we're set up for a good second half. Well, the other side scored, and now it's up to them to answer. How do they respond here with their first drive of the second half? Well, bottom line is they just saw the ball go in the end zone against their defense, and they saw what good offense looks like. They believe they've got a good offense as well. Run the best plays you've got to the top performers you have and try to move that ball down the field for an answering score. Second down, back to Sanders. And running room scarce here. He's going to be stopped in his tracks at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play that time, and they'll look to convert on what will be a third and four. Sometimes with the running game, you've just got to stick with it. Look, it's the third quarter, no time to panic. But that also doesn't mean you just do it the same way you've been doing it the entire ball game. Maybe change up some blocking assignments or run a few different plays, but stay with the overall essence of the running game. And it looks like we've got a dime set here defensively. Six DBs in the game. Now they'll throw here out of the gun. And this is caught by Watkins. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. 14 yards there and an eagle first down. Had to put that ball in there with a little extra zip, but he put it right where it needed to be. Yeah, and that little extra pace that he had on the pass, that required a little extra concentration for him, didn't it? Ball can get on you pretty quick in that manner, and he handled it well and picked up the first down. Check, check. On first and ten, it's Sanders. And he'll take it across the 50 and into Chief territory. A solid run on first down. Gain of seven leaves him with a second and three. Well, no matter how they phrase it, staying on schedule, staying ahead of the sticks, whatever you want to call it, seven yards on first down, that fits the bill. Ready. Second down, back to Sanders. And this time not as successful as he'll get back to the line of scrimmage and no more. They'll try and run for it with Sanders. And he won't be close to a first down as he runs into a wall right around the line of scrimmage. They'll try and throw for it with Hurts. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. The Eagles unable to convert there on fourth. And this defense is going to get the football back near midfield, right at the 48. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. Now McKinnon to start the drive. Two yards the loss, second and 12. I'll tell you what, this defense hasn't played its best, but they're still right in this football game. And if they keep making plays just like that, they're going to give their offense a chance. So the opening play of the drive. 
drive goes backwards. Now they'll come up on second and 12. And some space here. Yeah, he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. First down for the Chiefs, solid chunk of yardage, 17 on the play. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they are playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time and making it work. And the big boys up front, they're going to stop him right at the line. Call it no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. Ladies and gentlemen, that is a force of nature in the defensive tackle position. Yes, he's as big as they come, but still plenty agile. He's able to make a nice play there to swallow up the ball carrier. In motion, the tight end, Kelsey. And here's a handoff out of the gun. And he's going to take this close to the first down marker as he stopped at the Eagles' 29. Nine yards, not quite enough, and they'll be left now with third and one. And there we saw one of the downsides of Blitzen doing a rundown because sometimes you get out of your gaps. You don't fit the run quite as well because you're headed towards the ball carrier with abandon. So they just need one yard here to pick up the first down. And they'll give him another shot here on the ground. Well, they hit him in the backfield, and he will not escape. And that is not going to get it done. So a big one coming now for Harrison Butker. This to make it a two-score game. Butker's kick here is good, and that will extend their lead even further. So that's CD, an important one here in the fourth quarter. And that importance could not be overstated. All eyes on both sidelines were staring that one down all the way. The significance is that they made it a two-score game. Still lots of time left to go, but likely that was their goal at the start of the drive. Get three points, make it a two-score game, and they were able to get it. And now off to the races, down the right side. Touchdown, Philadelphia. Calling the 96-yard house call on the kick return. And the Eagles have made it a one-score game again here in the fourth. Elliott good with a PAT. And now things get a bit more interesting here in this fourth quarter. So now the other return teams out there as they'll try to duplicate what they just saw. And here comes a return from the middle of the end zone. And he'll be brought down at the 28-yard line. So the decision to bring it out of the end zone gets him three more. Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. Their defense forced the turnover on downs. They've got the lead. They're in good shape, but can't go into a shell here, right? Still got to be careful. Yeah, because they're still a long way away from kneel down time. So they've got to work on getting first downs, keep the sticks moving, right? Keep the clock going, and above all, ball secure. Don't turn it over. Play fake. Mahomes. And look at this. They get the turnover they needed. It's intercepted. Darius Slay with a pick. And he takes this one back into the end zone. And the Eagles defense gets a pick six TD. Elliott on for the extra point. And that will make this a four-point game.
So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. This will be brought out from the middle of the end zone. And the decision to bring it out, not a good one, as he's tackled it to 15. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. And they have to try and move past that pick six because now they're dealing with a fourth quarter deficit and they need this drive to end in points. Now the Holmes to try again after the pick six. Taking a deep shot here for Hardman. Oh, this is taken in. It's complete. And he'll be taken down at about the 22-yard line. But one thing that we know for sure, do not question the arm strength of Patrick Mahomes, one of the strongest around. So barely time to catch our breath. Here's first and 10 just outside the red zone. And he's got Hardman in the end zone. Touchdown, Kansas City. A 22-yard touchdown grab. And the Chiefs have taken a fourth-quarter lead. Extra point by Butker is on target, and that gives him a three-point lead. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. Takes it at the seventh. The lane opens here. He's past the 30. And he's all the way up across the 40 and down at the 42. Great return. For a quick second there, I thought we were about to have a repeat performance of a kickoff return for a touchdown. This guy's on fire today. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. We certainly have a good one on our hands. They're trailing after that last touchdown, but now a chance for this offense to try to snag that lead right back here in the fourth quarter. And they're able to work this across midfield to the 48. He's been quiet today in the passing game, just his second catch. Yeah, and people have to come up with schemes to limit him. And, and what a lot of teams do, they'll double him, you know, use a linebacker underneath, a safety over the top. Sometimes they'll just take a corner, maybe their third corner if he's a bigger guy, and put him on a man-to-man -man to try and limit his touches. Just keep mixing it up, giving different angles, different looks, like a good boxer does. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. But they certainly had success throughout this contest, getting him the ball in the passing game, and there he picks up another first down. Whatever they saw going into this one, they've been able to capitalize on it, and no adjustment has been made to take it away. And he's going to be taken down just shy of the 35. Three points separating these two sides with two minutes left to go in the fourth. Here we go, From the 36, Hurts. Throw left side complete. That's Sanders. And they're going to get this down near the 35-yard line. But they picked up a little bit of yardage there. And now, in this situation, should be in no hurry to run a play really fast. Let the clock wind down. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. They'll look to throw. And he can't get a throw away. He's taken down. He couldn't get rid of it. He winds up losing a yard. It's second down. The sack cost him only a yard. It's second and 11. Back to throw. Open man has got it, the tight end. And he'll be brought down with a first down as the tackle's made at the Chiefs' 22-yard line. They give him 13 yards there on the play and a fresh set of downs. The Eagles going to take the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the game. Hey. 
He'll look to throw. Over the middle complete. It's Watkins. And he gets it inside the 10 to the 9. Back to throw. Throwing middle, and it's complete. A gain of eight there on the eighth play of the drive. It's a second down run with Sanders. And he's across for the touchdown, and it's likely the game winner. Okay, well.